What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video. It's Nelly here, your host of Nelly's Fishing Adventures. And thank you very much for tuning back to the channel. In today's video, it's going to be a tackle video guys. And I'm going to show you guys what I bought at Ganyang Sports this past weekend. Um, happy Easter everybody. Today is Easter Sunday and uh, yesterday I actually went to Ganyang Sports with a friend. We went shopping for some lures that we're going to be using for a pike slash walleye tournament we're going to go to at Lake Nipissing in May and I'm really excited to go do this event. It's not a serious, serious tournament. It's more of a fun, you know, uh, guys get together, have a few drinks, barbecue. Um, but obviously we, we all put in for prize money at the end of the weekend, right? So, let's get started here. First thing we picked up at Ganyang Sports is Daiwa Jaybraid. Um, I've only used uh, Daiwa Jaybraid on my spinning rods, but this time I bought um, 40 pounds to put on my uh, casting rod. I am uh, excited to see how it goes. I usually go with Power Pro. Um, I decided to try the Jaybraid this time. Um, never tried it before, so I am excited to try you know, a new brand of braid. The Rapala X-Trap Otis is um, pretty much what it looks like here. It's a giant grub, not really a giant grub. This is actually a smaller size um, at six inches, weighing one ounce and three eighths. It's actually a lure that I'm really looking forward to using in the spring for pike. Considering I'm gonna be going out targeting pike within the next couple weeks, this is the lure that I'm really looking forward to tying onto my rod. And as you can see here, for $20, it is a really cheap, affordable pike slash musky lure. It comes with an extra tail in case you get bit off. Very easy to replace. Um, what it looks like, you just gotta take the uh, back treble hook off. And then once you have this back treble hook off, then you can um, replace, just put, the tail pulls out, and then you can go ahead and replace it. Now sticking with the brick predator baits, this is the Musky Innovations Swim Dog. This is obviously a bigger swim bait. It is a uh, eight inch, comes in at, uh, two ounces and it comes with uh, two big um, two watt treble hooks. This one's a little pricier coming in at $34 but it, you can see it's a soft swim bait. It's gonna have some crazy action in the water but I'm really looking forward to using this and these hooks are sharp I'm getting them in my skin already and that is the musky innovation swim dog. Now something a little smaller, I was able to find a River to Sea S Wave 120. Now this is a little jointed swim bait I've been having a hard time finding everywhere. And I was actually surprised that Ganyang Sport had it. So I had to pick one up. Um, it is a little bit on the pricey side, $23 for this little swim bait. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to catch some good fish on this guy. So River to Sea calls this color the Party Crasher. And this is going to be crazy. I hope it gets smashed by smallies. Now when it comes to finesse fishing, we all know that the Ned Rig is a very successful technique. Now, when it comes to Ned Rig hooks, me personally, I'm a huge fan of owner, and not only Ned Rig hooks for that matter, for any type of hook, owner is usually the go-to hook for me. Now I bought the uh, Blockheads and the Blockheads EWG. Now this one is a, obviously you're gonna rig your, your lures in a, take the Texas rig, so it's gonna be weedless, you're gonna text pose your lures. Now a little tackle tip for you guys, if you guys are gonna use an EWG hook, avoid using uh, products with Elastec because it will bunch up and it will cause you to, uh, to lose more fish. Oh, come on. So one of the products that I'm most excited to show off I found these spinner baits. So like I said before, I was looking for lures that will help me with pike fishing. Now I had some spinner baits in my cart, but when I got close to the cash register, I saw these ones. And these are the big gym spinner baits. Now, as you can see, they're hand tied and uh, they got this, uh, I don't know what if this is called marabou. No, I don't think this is marabou, but like it has this hair on it, which I find pretty cool. So out of these two, this spinner bait here was the one I was more excited about. Now this one here has a little feather that to me that looks like a perfect trailer it almost looks like a like a tail of a fish so i think this spinnerbait is going to get so much attention in the water i'm really excited to try this out they're actually a really good price 6.99 each and this is probably the product i'm most excited to to throw this coming pike season 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, this little tackle video, uh, nice and short. Uh, I, got, I gotta say, I did say I'm really excited for these spinnerbaits. I, I just can't stop looking at them, can't stop talking about them. Because it's such a cool spinnerbait. Just, if you guys could just see this feather, this feather is gonna have like, it has a nice, ex I, I just think it's gonna have a great action. I'm probably still gonna add a, a trailer hook to these, but I'm super excited to throw these spinnerbaits. They are cool looking. But anyway, enough talking guys. Thanks for joining me in the video. Thanks for joining me in the channel. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button as well. It helps out the channel a lot. And hopefully you guys see me catching some crazy pike or musky on this. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one. Cheers.